Hey guys, good morning. I hope you're doing well and have had a nice week so far. Today we are going to do another Sunday morning paint with me. I hope you have your brushes and your sketchbooks ready so that you can join me. This morning I think I'm going to paint some trees on a cloudy day. We had some rainy weather earlier this week and as I was out driving, I just thought it was so pretty, the gray sky with these colorful fall leaves um, against it and it just looked really pretty so I thought I would try to recreate a little bit of that here today. I am actually looking at the trees out of my window here and we'll be using those as sort of a reference. But really I am just looking to reminisce on how pretty the season is and how nice everything looks right now before it all comes down and gets really cold. I am going to start off by doing a wash of a dark gray, adding a little bit of black, a little bit of white here and there just to kind of give it a little bit dimension. And I am moving my brush in sort of a circular motion as well as dragging it, but trying to give the effect of the fluffy clouds that are just completely covering the sky. I am again using my Arteza gouache paints and my Etcher sketchbook. I am actually really enjoying using this sketchbook. The pages are nice and thick and they hold the water and the paint really well. So. Um, this was new. I've not used one of these before and I've just been using it for these Sunday morning paintings and I like having this kind of routine where I get to paint every week and it has been nice to use a new sketchbook for this as well. I've then mixed some of my dark brown paints and will be filling in the trunks of these trees and they are actually all different types of trees. And I'm going to put three in my painting here today, um, but I, I do love these trees so much. They're, we just moved here about a year ago, and so this is our first fall season here. And I just absolutely love all the different colors of the leaves, and they all kind of stand in a line, and they're all different trees in the springtime too. Some are flowering and some are not, and they are just really, really beautiful. I am still working on getting the hang of this gouache paint. I am very used to watercolors as I've mentioned before um, and I am still trying to get control of the amount of water to the amount of paint so that it is easy to kind of drag and make just even little lines like this without it being, you know, not enough water and too much paint and so I'm still figuring that out and getting used to that here. I think I've decided I want to get a set of brushes for my gouache paint because right now I am using these, I think they're called My Touch brushes and I just got them at Hobby Lobby. I like to have extra like cheap brushes around because my daughter is into arts and crafts and she's always looking for brushes and I do not want her to use my Princeton brushes so I like to have just some extra brushes laying around and that's kind of what I'm using and I've been using with these gouache paintings because I have brushes specifically for my oil paints and then I have ones for my watercolor and I don't want to mix paints on them so maybe watercolor and gouache isn't a big deal to mix them because they are kind of similar but I think I would rather have specific brushes for my gouache.
Now for the leaves, I'm going to start by mixing some different shades of yellow and just kind of dabbing them all over and this was kind of a process but um, yeah, just trying to give it a messy natural effect and by mixing more yellow, some red, and I think I even added some white to give it some highlights too, um, but this tree is just full of color so I really wanted to try and make it as bright as I could to stand out against this dark gray sky like it actually does here in person. And my birch tree actually only has some leaves left on it. It's not as full as the others. And so I'm just kind of adding those in here randomly and just kind of dragging my brush very quickly to make these little leaf shapes. And some are yellow, some are red, and it's super cute. And I actually, I love this birch tree. And now finally I'm just adding in some of these branches that you can see through the trees and making those stand out a little bit more because they got covered when I was adding all the leaves in so I'll add them here to this big one and then I'll add a few more back into my birch tree as well. I actually realized halfway through I probably should have put the birch tree in last but that's okay. <laughs>
All right, so here she is all finished. I do really like how this turned out. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I really did enjoy painting this. It was actually pretty relaxing and a nice way to further enjoy the fall season. I hope you guys all enjoyed as well. And if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.